Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and I'm going to do some IXLs here so you can see I've got my notebook out so I can do some things. So I'm going to be building the equation for this function. So it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 21, 28, 35, 42. So let's find the changes first. So the change in x is plus 1, the change in y is plus 7, so my slope is 7 over 1. But that's just the slope, that's the m. And I'm trying to build this, I'm trying to build y equals mx plus b. That's what I'm att attempting to build, I'm trying to build a slope-intercept equation. But I also need the intercept, and the intercept occurs at 0, when x is 0. So let's follow this pattern, so 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And let's follow this pattern back. So minus 7, minus 7, minus 7 takes me to 14. Minus 7 takes me to 7. Minus 7 takes me to 0. So my y-intercept is occurring right here at 0. So this is going to be y equals m, which is 7x. Well, m is 7. x plus 0. So y equals 7x. y equals 7x is right there. Great job. Let's do another one. So here's my table. I'm actually just going to start with the first two lines, so 3 and 4, 2 and 3. Change here is plus 1, the change here is plus 1. So what does that mean? My slope is 1 over 1, which is 1. There's my slope. Now I need the y-intercept. Well, that occurs at 0. So 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 3, 2, right? It's going down by 1, 1, down by 1, 0, down by 1, negative 1. So there's my y-intercept at negative 1. So it's y equals m, which is just 1. Why am I putting an m there? y equals m, which is 1, x minus 1, my y-intercept. So y equals x minus 1, y equals x minus 1. OK, this one actually has the y-intercept right there. So I'm just going to write down the top two lines, 70, 71. How did it change here? Plus 1. How did it change here? Plus 1. So it's my slope, 1 over 1. And the y-intercept is at 70. So let's build it. y equals 1x plus 70. Come over here, give myself some space to work. Where is it? So my table, 3, 4, 5, 91, 92, 93. The change here is plus 1. The change here is plus 1. So my slope is 1 over 1. And I've got to back it out. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And it's going down by 1 each time. So 90, 89, 88. So there's my B equals 88. So y equals 1x plus 88. There it is. Another one. Notice I'm using paper and a pencil, and I'm actually doing work. If you're trying to do everything in your head and you're getting them wrong, then it's time to get out the notebook. Uh, 4, 5, 6. So 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. The change here is plus 1. The change here is plus 1. So my slope is 1 over 1. My B, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So my B is negative 3. So Y equals 1X minus 3. Y equals 1X minus 3. I'm going to need lots of space above this one. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Change here is plus 1, plus 1, so my slope is 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. There it is. There's my y-intercept at negative 3. So, 1x one, one minus 3.
So I've done six problems. Let's see if they'll change some place. Ah, this one. One, two, 83, 84. So this is a change of plus one. This is a change of plus one. Slope is one over one. B, two, one, zero, 84, 83, 82. There's my y-intercept. So one x plus 82. Oh, well, this guy's got everything right there. So zero, one, zero, negative 30. So this is a plus one and a minus 30. So the slope is negative 30 over one and the y-intercept is at zero. So negative 30 and the y-intercept is at zero. Leaving some space above my work, so three, four, negative 68, negative 70. Change here is plus one, change here is minus two. So my slope is negative two over one, which is negative two. Let's back it out, so four, three, two, one, zero, negative 70, negative 68, negative 66, negative 64, negative 62. Eight, six, four, two, good. So there is my y-intercept at negative 62. So my slope is negative two, and my y-intercept is negative 62. And the negative was already there, so that looks good. Okay, this one, I already have the intercept right there. Zero, one, 90, 73. So the change here is plus one, and the change here, is this at seven, 17? 17. And my intercept, so my slope is 17 over one, and my intercept is at 90. And that's everything I need right there. 17 and intercept at 90. That looks good. Oh, negative, negative, negative 17. Negative 17, Mr. Barr, negative 17. Arg. Okay. I got it. Okay, what's the slope here? The slope here is negative 39. I'm just going to try to catch up. So negative 39 plus 42. You've got it, trying to catch up. Slope is negative two. Slope is negative two. Y-intercept is backing that out. Negative 62. Negative. Ah, negative two, negative 61, bar. Now see, this is why I should use my notebook, right? Okay, how much time have I done? I can't see it. Um, well, it says I've been recording for almost eight minutes. Okay, got it. Right here, negative nine. Y-intercept going up to zero. Terrific. What's this slope here? One. Let's back out the intercept. Three, four, four, three, two, one, zero, four. 63, 62, 61, 60, 59. So 1 and 59. What's the slope here? 1 over 1 is the slope and backing it out. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Negative 1, negative 1. Ah, what didn't it like? Okay, now I'm just getting to. Okay, that's it. I, I've gotten you started. You guys can get up to a 50 on this. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye.